just one second and we are live I'm just gonna give everyone the content Hello, Game Gab. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everything is great with you. Just gonna wait for all of the other ones to come in, day in, day out. DJ, hello. Baby Well, hello. Hope everyone is feeling great. Hello, Marcel. James, Dennis, bad boy. <laughs> Number one. Judith, hello. Alberto. Tarun, Taya, hello, hello, how are you? Hope everything is great with you. Collins, Azed, Westy, how are you? I'm great, I am great. V1, 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 uh, Nitro, hello, Mir, Aisha, the, collect the Collective Gaming, Mir, hello and welcome everyone. I hope you're feeling great this morning in Sweden. It is 8 a.m. in Sweden. Um, hope everyone is having a fantastic day sg i hope everyone is having a fantastic day morning wherever you are let's go into the charts i'm sorry i'm a little bit late but my computer didn't want to work with me hello nats here for you pro insight luna scene flm tlm okay let's look at some uh btc and ethereum and first of all hello ben uh, Ganku, hello, Faris, hello, Sunatu, hello, Mr. Ripples, of course. Okay, Sioma. Uh, let's continue, guys. If you haven't already liked the live stream, please do that. This is how we reach out to more people. This is how we grow the channel so people can find us. Irene, hello. Let's. Uh, <laughs> good morning, is she the best mod out here? Yes, she is. Um, did we have anything today? It's Tuesday today already. So the week is almost ending, okay? No, um, we don't have anything special today when it comes to USD, so let's not focus on that. Um, just wanna see again, I just wanna clean my charts a little bit when it comes to DXY. Um, DXY is going sideways at the moment and it actually looks like we can actually looks we're just going sideways i'm gonna take this i mean we're still playing around around 109.610 um on the lower time frames i mean if the market continues back down on dxy because you know we have some trouble with breaking this previous resistance if you're breaking above 109.865, well, that can be the beginning for us. But we just might also see the market only pull back up and to create a lower high potentially and then drop a little bit. Because if we're looking at the overall perspective, as I said, we're still doing high, high we're just going sideways. But, you know, either we'll see the market um, pull back down. This is the first level that I... I'm just going to give you the bullish and bearish scenario when it comes to DXY. So either we'll see the market have a, first of all, a drop back down to 107.666. Um, if we see that the market pulls back up, retest 109.875 for a lower high. And that could be the beginning because we do have some trouble breaking the resistance. Um, but of course, as I, as I said, if we're breaking above the level, that just might be the beginning for the market to go up, right? I am actually in long positions on uh, on BTC. I bought the market yesterday at $19,021. Um, and I have my TP at 20,700. I'll show you why this is the case. Um, but don't forget that you can also receive the bonus up to, we changed the bonus up to $4,308, guys. So you have the link in the description and in the live stream. This is um, Bybit. I also trade on its really good platform. It's leverage trading though, but always be very careful. But 
yeah, it's just a really great platform to trade the market on and you you have the bonus and it's really good, guys. It's really good. I, I had some trouble with Bybit in the beginning, but it, of course, you know, I wasn't used to it. I was used to other platforms, but this is actually re really great. I love it more and more and more, guys. How long how long are you long now? When to close? I'll, I'll show you. Um, okay, so let's see. We can go to B2C at the moment. And where did I buy it? Where did I say I buy it from? 19,020. 19,020? What? It was actually a pretty good trade. I'm not going to lie. 19,000. What did I say? I forgot it. And 20, 19,000, 19,020. Oh yeah, it was this line. Yeah, okay. So I bought the market yesterday. I can, can take away the box so we can see. Um, oh, we have so many lines here. What? Oh, that's that one. Okay, so... Yeah, I bought the market at 19,020 yesterday. It was based on this uh, wick that activated my trade. Um, and why did I do that? Well, because we came back down to a previous support. That was the support that we spoke about yesterday. This support that I just took away to show you guys. So we saw that the market on the lower time frames closed inside, inside of it. I'm just gonna take some Fibonacci's away so we can see more clear so many fibonacci's um 19,000 and yeah so what happened was that we broke above the previous lower high that you saw the market gave us and you know when i saw that i i bought the market and we're also above another fibonacci level at the moment so i do expect us to and why I had my take profit at that level was because, you know, if we pull back, look at this. So we are at a preview support and the market is just going down. And we just might, as we spoke about yesterday, I think, or maybe we didn't do that. Um, we just might see the market from the support. You saw the fake out right here, pull back up, market pulls back down. We tried to break the level yesterday, but we closed inside of it. And that's why I bought the market because I saw that this was just another fake out. And I was also using this as a guidance for me to take the trade because fake out real retest of the previous support, right? And hello, David. And so that's why. So, and based on the Fibonacci, I dragged it from 22,433 back down to the low at 18,780 you know so sometimes when i drew dry drew when i draw the fibonacci sometimes you know most of the time i always drag it from the last lower high to the to the new um lower low but i you can also use the previous lower low okay so in this case i i drag it from the high to the previous high uh, low because we haven't created a good one at the moment. So, I mean, there's different ways that we can use the Fibonacci. And this is the one of the ways that you can do it. Um, and yeah, so we are above the support that we saw the fake out. So we just might see the market the same way you saw the market did here. You had the fake out, you had the retest, boom, hit boom. And the same thing, potential fake out retest the same we saw here retest and market pulls back up to create the potential lower high and then boom down okay that's what i expect the market to do at least you know but that just might not happen but i'm still inside some long position i actually added so i have some long positions from here as i said from 19,020, and i also added some extra positions right here around 19,202. so i have some positions on and i have my take profit at the fibonacci levels where i expect it then of course if the market it continues because if the market continues up then most likely i will add some extra positions every time the market gave me a potential lower a uh, higher low um so yeah that's what i see um what about the lower low on the four hourly time frame we might get a small bounce up to 197 but with that hidden bearish verse you don't think more downside 
Um, I mean, the thing is that I have this as a target because I'm just using the sideways market and the support. But, you know, if you see something else, then, you know, you do what you gotta do, baby. We also have this Fibonacci, as you can see. So this is the confirmation. We have one, the market slowness that has started, continued to create. We had the first low. We had the, this is the fake out potentially. Market pulls inside again. We had retest. So this was the retest that I bought the market from around, yeah, 19,200. Saw the retest of it. And this is on the one hourly chart. If we would see the market, if the market breaks below, um, breaks below 19,275, well, then the market just might continue down, right? Because the market is still, you can see how the market is preparing itself to continue up, right? And we are also retesting this previous level. So that's the higher high level that we are potentially retesting. And on the lower time frames, you know, if the market, we just might pull back up and pull back down and retest 19,303 or 19,277, if we want to be precisely. And then slow and steady see the market continues up. That's it. That's what I expected to do. So let us see the darlings. What's going to happen? Let's go to Ethereum. Hope everyone is feeling great today. We have 126 people on here, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should definitely do that because I do these live streams every single day from Monday to Friday. I have these morning live streams and then we go on a... New York session live stream at the end of the day. So everything that we do now, we either I'll find some very good opportunities or levels, either as this morning in bed, I bought the market on BTC again, you know? Um, that's pretty cool. No, I love that, you know, that you can be in bed and still buy the market. And as long as you know what you're doing, that's pretty good, right? But during the live streams, we usually find some very good opportunities too. I'm no financial advisor, I never will be, but you'll learn so many things on my channel, I promise you, you'll you learn so much. You have everyone on here that's been here for a long time. Trust me, they can guarantee that if you are new to my channel and subscribe to it and follow me, then you will see it like very, very good, things happening for yourself when you're looking at the chart. Um, crypto trading for beginners is uh, a, a series that I show you a little bit more of teaching when it comes to <clears throat> trading overall. And back to with me, this is where I also, um, it's like a school for you guys. It's like a school for you. I'm just going in here and just show you what I see. That's the back testing. So. <clears throat> if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should do that. So we see each other on the next live stream. Um, missed Anna's live stream last night, so I came here. Yeah, I saw that he was live. I saw that too. Uh, or you missed it. Um, yes, back up, please. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at Ethereum. What? Yeah, this is this. This is Ethereum. I'm not inside a trade on Ethereum though. I only focused on. I only focused on BTC yesterday, so let us just take away everything and see what this baby is doing. Let's go to the monthly chart first of all. Um, <laughs> coffee, as always. Love it. Two weekly chart. <clears throat> well, we have a pretty, you know, volatile candle. Um, pretty volatile momentum down. Mm 
I just want to have it on the left because I always go back and forth. I already have the alert, but you know, can have an extra alert. Okay, let us see if this is going to go, how it's going to go. Well, I'm still, I'm some good profit, so I'll, if, if the market pulls back down, well, I'm just going to take myself out. But patience is key, guys. Patience is always key. Um, okay, so look at Ethereum. We didn't pull, we, so yesterday we saw the market retest 1,280 on the lower time frames. We can drag a Fibonacci from 1,400 and, what did I say? 1,468 and 1,333. I'm so tired sitting, I'm not tired. It's just so early in the morning. What are you gonna do today, guys? Do you gonna work? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go and get my passport today. I've been I've been um, ignoring that for a, for a long time. I need to fix it or pick it up so I can start to travel again. Look at this, guys. No one cares. I just wanted to share it. Okay, look at this, guys. We're looking at the one hourly chart. We are between 1,355 and 1,350. Natalie, kindly give us a daily at least one short spot position to make profits from any coin you believe or take. Like, that's not how you can approach me, darling, music fam. I'm not here to, to give you every time something. If I see something, I give it to you. Never push it. Never, ever push it that no you see my i always give you something if you can if you can't see that i'm not sure what you're looking at but i always say i'm no financial advisor this is the entry this is the tp this is where i would do this and this and that and if i don't have it you should be happy i don't give that to you every time because if i would i don't know what i'm doing if i say i don't find anything you should be happy about me saying that you're too greedy guys you're too way too greedy when it comes to it okay so <clears throat> when we're looking at this guys if we see the market have some momentum back to the upside we can first of all retest 1403 and 1420 um so yeah we are retesting the levels at the moment If we're breaking above, if we're breaking above 1,360, well, that's the beginning for, as I see myself, for the market to break above. And yeah, that could be the beginning at least um, for the market to continue up. Of course, if I, if the market don't fail that and have big momentum down, well, then I'm not looking for that long position, right? I'm just waiting for the market to continue down. So we are at a very important level at the moment. So I'll just have another alert right here. Crossing down. Yeah. So that's what I see at the moment. I'm not, I'm not going to go into Ethereum at the moment. Let's look at B to C. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue FLM. FLM USDT. When you have time, we'll be happy to look at ETC. Yeah, we're as she's just gonna take everything. So if you have any coins, guys, that you want me to look at, just write it, and then SG will um will take it and give it to me. And if you see the the coins that SG writes, you don't have to write it write it again because she will. I will look at that and i'll take everything step by step okay so no no rush no rush you don't have to spam it it's totally fine we see it trust me as she sees it she sees it okay let's look at flm now then we are at the support we are at the support we have another support and resistance zone right here 
no, only support zone. I'm looking back at one zero point one thousand four hundred and forty. <clears throat> and on the lower time frames, well, we are at the low. So if we have some momentum back up the first level, because you we are at the support, so we usually expect the market to bounce back up, right? Um, so the first level, I still need to look at the uh, to where we are right now, of course, and I just don't really like the market structure when it comes to Okay, so if this happens, if we see the market give us a drop, we can reach a 0.1000, maybe 0.0993 for a potential retest. Um, so this level is also important for me to use in case we see the market come back down, retest it. If we have the power to break above 0.1040, that can take us back up to 0.1090 or 0.1120. Um, if the market breaks below the level, that can be the beginning for the market to drop, to continue to drop. So at the moment, we are retesting some other Fibonacci levels and you can see how the market stole and instead it pulls back down. But based on that, we came to a pretty strong support and we have, um, yesterday we did have one blue, Oh, one well, yeah, one green candlestick that was pretty. It could be the beginning for the market to just give us an extra push, right? So I would use those levels to see if we break below it or if we break above it and we come back up to the higher time frames. We want to FLM, TLM, TLM USDT. long time ago we were here so let's go to the higher time frames oh i mean guys look at this guys oh i can't i can't do any market structure on this one is too no it's just going to the low right no i don't want to do this do we have let's see we're gonna look at atom instead okay so let's look at atom atom used it let's see what it did since yesterday that we looked at the disappear it's gonna take everything away you know what i'm just gonna analyze it from the from the high first of all so um what we can see on atom we came back down, retested previous. Hello, Rocky. We came back down, retested a pre previous resistance. We closed inside a previous support. Using the previous, uh, previous lower high on the monthly with the lower low gives us Fibonacci levels between 19,515 and 22, 000, no, sorry, 22.244. Still in bed. Uh, I wanted to do that too. I really love the bed. I mean, if there's a place that the bed is the place. Snooze, I'm, I'm the snoozer. Trust me when I say I snooze. If I could, I would snooze the whole day. I've always loved, I've always loved sleeping since I was a kid, always. 
I can sleep everywhere. You find me sleeping somewhere, trust me, I don't care. Uh, why the heck are fib settings not saving on my charts, Binance, every time I open? I don't know. I don't use the charts on Binance, to be honest. So I can't help you there, Torben. But maybe Dede can help you. Where is she? Where is that crazy gal of ours? Okay, I'm going to continue here now. And where we're looking at Atom... As I said, <clears throat> it actually looks like we can have the momentum back up to 19,300. No, sorry, 19.370 and 22.15 dollars. On the lower time frames, I have Fibonacci back down at 13.180. Um, okay, so this happened. I'm just trying to understand what the market has been doing. I'm trying to understand the story. Remember, because the market is always telling us a story. We pull back down, retested Fibonacci levels. We almost took take profit one. The market is going sideways now a little bit. So we see it better on the lower time frames. We had the pullback. We had the pullback. We had a clear break and retest of the resistance trend line. Okay. Everyone can see that. <clears throat> and with the break and with the retest of the trend line, we also saw retest of the Fibonacci level 14.676 and 15.86. Now this is on the four hourly chart. So this could be the beginning for the market now to continue up. So we drag another Fibonacci because that's the, you see how the market broke the, <clears throat> the downtrend. This was the pullback to these Fibonacci levels after the break of the candlestick. Oh, sorry, the down, uh, the other pullback. Impulsive move, pullback. So this could be the beginning of the next impulsive move. Um, <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> and we are right now retesting and we are right now retesting the Fibonacci level so if I would see Atom break above 13.345 and we're using it as a high low that for me is a a long opportunity to go in for a long position then of course we're gonna need to break the previous resistance which can also be the, another entry a better confirmation of the entry so i mean yeah that that's definitely something that can happen if we have bigger momentum to the downside well then i will just change my mindset and you know look at the overall picture and see where it's going but following what i've just been doing at the moment this is what i potentially see um dxy is still dxy is yeah so dxy is pulling to the downside dxy is going down <clears throat> did we have a gap there no <clears throat> i love sleep me too so much so yeah natalie btc daily candle long wick does that mean we should go down um <clears throat> with time it doesn't always have to read it doesn't always have to fill it right away but of course if you go down to the lower time frames and if you would see that the market breaks below 19,207, well, that's for me a sign that we're pulling back down, you know. That could be the beginning for the market to fill the wick that we're that we are talking about on the on the uh, daily chart. But based on that, we have some pretty strong levels 
um, that the market is retesting. I, this, you know, I just want to see how the market is going to behave because on the daily chart, as I said, we did close above with a green candlestick. We had the fake outs from this level since before. So, I mean, you just, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we have one, you know, quick retest and then a continuation of the drop. So what we're looking at right now is pretty important because you can, we are still in a uptrend at the moment. If the market, we can still be that if the market pulls back down to uh, 19,270. But as I said, if we have more momentum and the market breaks below these levels and we're breaking 19,200, and have a retest of this gray box that you can see from the below and that is also we breaking um this support trend line that i do have and based on this support trend line we can pull back down and retest it too you know you know <laughs> so that's what i see so let's just you know wait and see what levels we're breaking or not it's always good to have the patient to wait for it. I hope you understood what I was talking about, Aisha. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's see what else do we have. AD, uh, link? Yeah, we got link. Okay, Natalie, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome, Aisha. I actually had a friend that's... Her name is also Aisha. I've always loved that name. It's a very beautiful name, Aisha. She's from Sierra Leone. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, look at Link. We're gonna take everything away so we understand. Okay, so, you know, when it comes to Link, when it comes to link, we're just looking at the previous support and resistance zones that we have. Yeah, so we don't have anything since before. I'm using the support that we did create at $6.200. <clears throat> and yeah, we're just going in a sideways market here. It's so boring. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything on Link, to be honest. Not in a sideways market. This is a clear sideways market, so I don't want to focus on that one. Sorry, guys. Um, but I'm now when I look at the pairs, if I don't see anything, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna put my energy to it. You know, even if the mar even if everything moves the same, every chart looks a little bit differently than what the other ones is doing so if i don't see anything i will not do it so just have that in mind ga patient is key you gotta sit hands on heart sg this could be aj but he just changed everything to ja you know i know we know aj is here everyone <laughs> why did you use normal candles instead of because because I want to. <laughs> because I want to. That's what, uh, you know, I love it. I just love real candlestick. It's just what my eyes are used to. Okay, so we are at the support. No one can lie. No one can tell we're not at a support at the moment. On the lower time frames. If this is the fake out that we have, because that's the guidance, we will see the market retest um, the levels that we're retesting at the moment, 0 0.4,460 and 0 0.4,440. AJ quit boxing and start trading. I mean, I can be his teacher every single day. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't lie. I mean, you don't even have to pay me, darling. I want to give you billions of dollars, Natalie. It's totally fine. It's total no, I, I would take it. Oh, you want me to teach you how to trade, AJ? Well, you better pay for it. <laughs> you think I've done this five years and you're just going to take it for free? <laughs> Ain't going to happen. Don't care how cute you are. And then I would be like, no, it's okay. I can do it. I'm just joking. Okay, so if this is the fake out that ADA has from the support, 
this is the same way that we're talking about when it comes to BTC, right? <clears throat> um we are at the moment retesting as i said fibonacci levels we are also inside the support very important levels that we're looking at um on the lower time frames you can see how the market now is retesting 0 0.4460 i'll send this video link to aj's <laughs> yeah only take with the part when i say he have to pay for it <laughs> you don't have to bring the other point okay Crossing up. Who's AJ? <laughs> the most beautiful man in the world, maybe? <laughs> oh. Okay. We have some pretty strong candlestick to the downside. We always have to have that in mind, right? So the market is still giving us lower lows and lower highs. So the market has not showed us a sign that we are pulling back up just yet. But if we're breaking above 0 0.4470 and we break the support, the resistance trend line, that for me is a confirmation that it can be the beginning for the market to continue up. If we would see that the market have bigger momentum down now and we're breaking below uh, 1, 000, 0 0.4440 and market creates a low, with these lower lows, lower highs that we see, we will be able to create an, another lower high level with the previous lower high combined with the lower low, you know, and that would be this uh, <clears throat> short opportunity. So I got two different scenarios right here that we're looking at. But why I'm looking at the, the long position is because we are inside a support. So we can definitely, if this is the last time the market is breaking the support, then we can obviously see the market, you know, have the big drop and retest and drop. Yeah, that can definitely happen. Why I'm looking at these Fibonacci levels is because we just might we just might have to pull back up for a lower high and then see the market break it. So that's what I see. And Jack, no! Not Andy, AJ. AJ. So that's what I see on A to A, <laughs> not Andy. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we have. B L Sata. B L Sata used a T. Guys, if you haven't already liked the live stream, let us reach over a hundred likes on this live stream would be super sweet of you guys it was that's how we are growing to the channel together so we have all our 150 people here and 78 like let us reach 100 people 100 likes if you are new to the channel super welcome as i said in the beginning of the stream i usually do this i, I always do this live stream uh morning live streams from monday to friday where we just go through the charts together so we have the setups over the day sometimes we have i have really good setups from the morning and sometimes we have to wait a, a little bit longer and that's usually um, the market usually comes to those levels around New York session so during New York session we always go on the live streams to all it on and to do a recap of what we did today on this morning live stream really good live streams that we do have every single day guys and why it's so good is because i also teach you so much while i'm doing it i always show you why i am buying the market why i sell the market etc guys so i'm already inside a buy position since yesterday i bought the market based on the fake up that we did have from 19,020. i also added some other positions not on bybit and on, on another platform i added some position on the wick that you can see here and $19,200. Um, so yeah, I'll, I always show you step by step why I take these trades. And even if you are very good at what you're doing, because I guess a lot of people are, but trust me, you can always learn more. And I'm very good at that. Um, and don't forget that you can also receive a bonus up to $4,380 right now on Bybit. And as I said, this is a platform that I trade myself on. And by signing up, you also supporting the channel. So I am always, always available for you. Remember, it's a, it is leverage trading. Always be careful. But as I always say, if you are able to click up the platform, guys, you can also choose what leverage to take. So if you're over leveraging, well, that's the greed that you have within yourself that you must start to control. 
because otherwise you'll just lose your money and that is not why we are here and remember guys i am never a financial advisor i always just share my thoughts with you guys i always share my thoughts um when i take trades that's not you don't have to take it just follow what i do see what i do and then take it from there i'm here to teach you guys i'm here to teach you so if i take a trade and stop loss get hit it's still your responsibility that took that trade always remember that i will never ever in my whole life take responsibility for anyone else's choices that i do on the charts i share my thoughts nothing else so have that in mind i'm very strict when it comes to that very strict um when it comes to bl sata we're just at the support too you see this is very boring sideways market crazy wick to the upside can definitely happen again Yeah, this is the thing, right? I don't like this either, to be honest. It's just, you know, these... I mean, you have the lower low. This was the lower low. This was... No, this was the lower high. This was the lower low. Atom crossing uptrend. Okay, let's go back to Atom. Um, yeah, I don't like this chart on BLSATA, to be honest. It's, it's too choppy. It's too choppy. No, let's go to Atom instead, guys. The market is just at the support. And you see these crazy things happening? I don't like it. Let's go to Atom. What do we have? Okay, we haven't broken the level yet. Um, I So when I talk about Atom, I want the market to break above it and potentially give me a retest. That for me is a clear indication that we're pulling back up. So the market is just retesting it from below. So it's a whole different... That's why patient is the key, guys. And the same thing happens on BTC now. We see the market retest the level and let's see if we have the momentum up soon and the same thing when it comes to ethereum if we're breaking above 1360 then that that for me is the beginning for the market that gives me the the confirmation that this that this will be a potential high probability valid long opportunity for me to go into you're arnold joshua you can't say arnold <laughs> Hello, Arnold. Do you how much do you love me? Your video helped a lot. Took a couple of years to finally start getting gains and not just provide. Really, GA? I'm so happy about that. You see, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should do this. Like, I have people commenting and giving me feedbacks every single day how much they are actually developing. We have Ankush on our community. And yes, guys, if you want to be part of my community where everyone just continues to talk about, uh, you can see Ethereum pulls back up right now. We're um, going up. ADA crossing uptrend, Ethereum crossing uptrend. We have so many good people on the community, guys. If you if you want to be one of them, you are more than welcome. Uh, SG is just gave the link to you guys in the live chat, so more than welcome. Uh, so we're working above these levels at the moment. Let's look at Atom. Someone said something about Atom too. Okay, so we're breaking above it, but this is the most important thing. It has to close. So this 15 minutes candlestick that is closing in seven minutes have to close above it. Because right now it's just moving upside down. So the mark you, you've seen, this candlestick has one, one time been green. And then it did close as a bearish candlestick. So the market, this candlestick has to close, close above in seven minutes. Very important, guys. And yeah, so BTC is going up. As I said, I'm already in some position. I will add an extra position on Ethereum if we're closing above it and retest it too. So as I said, patient is key, guys. Patient is key. But I can still have another if we're breaking above this one. You see how we're retesting from below at the moment? That's why it's so important. It has to close. It has to close above Hi, Natalie. I'm here. Oh, we have AJ in here. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> oh, 
my god. I bet that's AJ. She has... A no, sorry. Eshi. She has like four billions of, you know, YouTube YouTubers. And she's like, hi, Natalie. I'm so happy you're here. I'm AJ. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> I believe you. Um, okay. ETC. ETC use DT, my darlings. Let's see how this baby is behaving. And the market starts to go up. It looks like we're going up. Just this is the thing. Go back. Look at what I what I say. Why I say it. And you can see right now the market is going up. DXY is going down. I'm like, go up, right? It just goes up by following market structure. I'm so still so fascinated. I'm always, you see me always be as fascinated each and every time when it comes to, when it comes to the charts and following market structure. No one can tell me that is not working because when you see it, and that's the thing guys too, like you, your eyes, you, you have to teach your eyes to see things like this. It doesn't come from just one experience or you've done it for like five months. That's the thing with trading. It takes, it takes a while for you to, for your eyes to, oh my God. It actually takes some time for your eyes to, to see these things because you see what I see, but it doesn't connect sometimes with your brain. It's just because you have so many other things that your brain has to absorb and understand. And you will have so many times, you will have that little thing coming down and be like, ding, oh, oh my God, I see what she talks about now. And then like, bing, now I understand that you ha it have to click. It has to click. And that's the coolest thing with trading because when it clicks, it just clicks. You you cannot not see it anymore. And that's pretty cool. But when it comes to ETC, Yeah, we have a lot of fake outs. Oh my god, is she? I'm the <laughs> she's, she's talking to herself. You are a crazy woman. You are even more crazier than Dede. I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit Okay, so we are Natalie, do you use buy sell stop orders to enter or watch closely around alerts? Um I use I don't like I no, I don't use stop orders so much. I like to use uh, limit orders instead. Buy limit sell limit. No stop. I'm, I've never done that actually, like few times. But I like to see the clear re break and retest. That's the thing. I don't because when you have a stop order, it just breaks through the level and then it's activated. But when you break through the level, when you break through the level, it's so easy for the market to then you know drop back down again. So that for me, I don't I don't like that in that type of way. <clears throat> when we're looking at ETC on the monthly chart and we drag Fibonacci from from the lowest point to the highest point based on the candlesticks we broke below so the 61.8% is guiding us as a support okay we saw the fake out. We closed inside. This is this is where the market is supposed to continue up if we're following what the Fibonacci are doing. What are you doing with the chart? Playing with it so... I don't understand what you're talking about. I do not understand what you're talking about.
So when it comes to ETC, as I said, we are right now retesting. <clears throat> we are right now retesting the previous, um, a previous support or the 61.8%. We came inside of it. We tried to break it. Um, the market is still, you know, in a heavily downtrend if you're looking at overall. Um, but if the market breaks above, now this is a, this will happen in a like take some time before this happens but if we would see the market break above 32.16 31.34 or 32.16 if we see the market break above it it can be the beginning for the market to continue even more to the upside right um or we just might see the market retested from below and then continue to drop so everything depends on how the market is behaving at the moment from uh around that level so for me this is just a patient time uh, it's just patient for me on the lower time frames we can see how the market pulled back down to the fibonacci levels on the 15 minutes chart we saw the retest and slowly and steady the markets you know we had the lower low a higher low If SG is a real person, of course she is. She's the most beautiful person in this whole wide world. After me. No, we can be it together. You see, we have the we have some momentum at the moment. I would do this. If we're breaking above. 29.58 break above retest continuation how often do you trade on your cell phone while friends or family get annoyed while you're concentrating around an alert um if anyone would even have a problem with me doing my chart things they will never be allowed to be in my life so no there's no one that has any trouble with it they everyone in my in my circle they know what i do so no they would never be annoyed about it i actually give my friends i have one friend he's trading with me i always if i see something i always call him hey it's time to go long in the market he's like okay solana No, I had one friend before, she didn't like it, but she had to change that mindset. But that was in the beginning. You know, when I start, when I, but I kind of understand that. You're like, when I started to do trading, I, I left everyone. <laughs> I was like, peace, I'm out. I told everyone, hey, I'm, I'm up to something. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be this and that. And they were like, what are you going to do? And I was like, I'm going to start to trade. Everyone was like, you're crazy. And I was like, well, I don't care. Some people had some trouble with it, but then they kind of, they, they, um, learned pretty fast. They don't have any, they can't say anything. They're not allowed to say anything. And you should, that, you should have the same mindset. If anyone comes to you and say, hey, I don't think you should do this. Hey, block them. Do what I do ban people that are not supposed to be on my live streams that say things that i don't need block them bye if if you up to something and you want to change your life and you have someone in your life telling you i don't want you to do that well then they're not supposed to be there but like how can someone tell someone else they want to have a dream i don't want you to do that okay for who you you don't want me to do that because you don't want to yeah, because you're not with me as much as before. Well, that's pretty selfish. So I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna change my life because you want me to hang out with you. Makes zero sense. Makes I com makes completely no sense. I know a lot of people is like that. Oswana. Hello, Anna. Good morning, Natalie from Nigeria. Thanks for knowledge. You're welcome, Alexander. It is, uh, it's pumping. 
Um, the real coffee, not the fake one. Well, this is the fake coffee that I have, AJ. Pl play some trans music, Natalie. No, it's okay. Fib is love, so as you. Yes, I learned a lot from you. Love for Pakistan. You're welcome. Um, uh, you know what? I don't want to focus on Solana, to be honest. Let's look at Atom. Solana didn't look that good, to be honest. So let's go to the charts. We're, okay, so the market is breaking. Okay, let's take some things away here. We broke above the level. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, so we are about to break the level. So the market is at the moment creating the high. So depends on where the market breaks above it. We can we can also see the market break above it. That is also another confirmation. So if we break above the level, don't get in panic just because you missed because we just might not see the market pull back down to um, 15.340. We just might see them. Oh, sorry guys, it just tickles in my nose. We just might see the market break above the level. <laughs> break above the level, then create the higher low. And that's the, the confirmation, okay? So the market is giving us the push right now. Hopefully we'll see the market break above it. And when we have broken above it, that's when we start to look, or I start to look where the higher low can be for the potential long position. So just because the market broke above it, we haven't missed anything. So just be patient, guys. Let's go back to Ethereum. We're breaking above these levels. Looking good. Looking good. I love this. Please write 111 in the chat if you do enjoy this live stream, guys. This is the reason why you should follow me. Because while we're doing these live streams and we are going up, we are going up. Okay, we are going up. BTC, we are going up. This is amazing, guys. I'm already inside the trade since before. I long the market. I have my take profit at $20,700. I also have some other positions at the low right here. And this is amazing, guys. This is what I expected it to do. What happened? The market does what I expect. And that's the best thing. Why? Because I am so good at market structure. So guys, if you want to be master in market structure, you go into my YouTube channel, you hit the subscribe button, you go into crypto trading for beginners, you use market structure part one, part two, and then you go down to backtest with me. You look at all of these videos because this is where I combine everything together. If you want to know more about Mark uh, Fibonacci, you have one pro you have one video based on that. You have supply demand zones, you have trend lines and all of the other videos. It's just where I do a, you know, whole recap of everything. So really good videos that I do have for you guys. And yeah, this is, this is amazing. I am pretty happy about this guys. I am pretty happy about this. Did you learn something new today? Do you feel that you've learned something new today, guys? Because I did. I certainly did. I learned to trust my own analysis and look at DXY is going down. DXY doesn't look good at all. It just looks, as I said, looks like we're, uh, you know, continuing down. Time to short. What? What? Justin? You must go back to the live stream. You see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> this is amazing, guys. It's... But the market, you know, we've already, you know, we have some big momentum at the moment. So it's pretty hard. You know, I can't give you a short, uh, a long position level at the moment. I can't do that. I expect us to pull back up, first of all, to um, Ethereum. Uh, we have 1,400 and 1,420. If we break above them, we are reaching 1,500 or 1,600. When it comes to Ethereum uh, BTC, I have my levels because we broke above one um, high low level, lower high level. <clears throat> So let's see if it's gonna continue. We broke the uh, the resistance trend line as I spoke about. Let's see if this is gonna continue up because remember everything is probabilities. But you know, if we have the power, if not, we're just gonna see where the market 
you know, stops. But it's not that far away, to be honest. It's not that far away. And if we're looking at the overall on the daily chart, we are closing above a previous support level. We're breaking above a previous support level, you see? 12 hourly. Yeah. And we did close the last 12 hourly candlestick, did close as a pretty huge engulfing candlestick, okay? So I would not be surprised if we have some momentum up now after that engulfing candlestick from that that we have from the support yeah always move stop loss you know always move stop loss i'm gonna move on i have already moved my stop loss from the first level that i bought the market from or you went long and i'm just gonna wait for the market to continue up a little bit and then i'll move my stop loss on the second entries that i did that i do have so let us see if this is gonna continue up if we would see the market have one crazy drop you know because that can obviously happen but at that time i wouldn't do anything until we break 19,200. because as long as we are above this box as you can see we can still be in the uptrend even you know if the market would reach those levels i highly think the market will continue to drop either way but i wouldn't do anything for the confirmation i still need the confirmation for the the short right so as we all know trading is a patient game few days back few days i asked you about the fib settings you told it's worth some billions ptcs after watching your tutorials i got to know that is trillions ptc worth now i can trade myself thank you q you're welcome hun you're welcome hun always be grateful that's one of the things when it comes to this guys always be grateful always always be grateful for this and always respect the market always respect the market if you do not respect the market the market will make you obey to it because the market will always always show you what it's doing never go against it i respect the market so much trust me i i talk to the market i love you I, because look at this guys by understanding this this is knowledge knowledge is power and with that comes big responsibilities right and if you don't take that responsibility the market will till you get that responsibility always respect the charts okay i'm gonna end this live stream right now i hope everyone did enjoy it if you haven't subscribed to it please do that so we see each other on the next live stream don't forget that you can also receive the best bonus available right now on buy bits up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars by using the link in the description down below the video you also have it pinned in the live chat really great platform we have very low fees while trading this and that is definitely the best best thing uh you inspire me to try more and more thank you i watch patterns all day now that is great helen that is great never stop guys never stop it's make it a fun journey don't treat to get away your money right away knowledge is power and the money is not the knowledge the skill set is the knowledge so if you haven't understood that now you know now you know guys if you want to be part of my community um you have it right now pin, pin replace pinned in the right in the live chat um so you are more than welcome to be part of my community too i love you natalie never stop watching your videos looking forward to learn more thank you you're welcome rot you're welcome thank you sg for always helping out and please write one 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 in the chat if you did enjoy this live stream guys let's see how the market's gonna behave or what's gonna happen until we have the next live stream okay we see each other in the live chat I know that you guys continues to talk there I'm not super active but I need to <laughs> I need to collect my brain cells for the next live stream it takes some a lot of energy for me to do not super much but you know I have to relax my brain too thank you everyone we see each other sup Nat I'm sorry I'm late Luke we're just about to go what are you doing see you on the next live stream then Luke thank you so much for uh, always sharing your knowledge and trading that really, really appreciate your effort thank you so much john thank you love thank you westy thank you luke thank you john ricky westy <laughs> thanks to sj westy 
Thanks, Natalie Angie. Thank you so much, Aisha. Okay, I'm gonna go now. And if you do not follow us on our other social medias, BitcoinCensus.com is a great, great platform for you to go into. This is our website. This is also where we share daily updates about analysis. Really good, guys. So don't forget to check this out. It's really good, as I said. Um, have a great day, everyone. We see each other later. Love ya.